Oh, I can scratch these off my bucket list. I have seen Kristen Chenoweth live. And I have now finally seen Idina Menzel live. It was amazing. So now after I see both these Wicked movies, I think I can die happy. We finally have our second official trailer for Wicked Part 1, the first half of the cinematic adaptation of my favorite Broadway musical. And coming off the first trailer, which is three and a half minutes long, this one doesn't show us a lot more of the movie because the first one already showed us a lot. Plus this new trailer is a minute shorter. That's good too. In fact, I feel like this should have been the first trailer. I mean, comparing the two, I think it would just make more sense. But yeah, I still got plenty to talk about here. So let's get started. Fellow Aussie. The Wicked Witch of the West is dead. So yeah, this new trailer starts off more or less like the show does. We're going right into No One Mourns the Wicked, with Glinda addressing the citizens of Munchkinland. And then she's like, let me tell you the whole story. Let's wind the time dragon clock back. Let me tell you the whole story. All right, we're starting this off properly. But then there's Dorothy again. And I was like, okay, all right. What's going on? Like I said before, Dorothy in the Wicked show doesn't show up until act two. That's gonna be the second movie, part two. But seeing Dorothy in the first look and now this official second trailer, it does have me scratching my head. Is this gonna be like a flash forward or something? Like is the movie gonna start off showing glimpses of Dorothy's journey in the Wizard of Oz story? Is that gonna be part of the intro of this movie possibly? Maybe it will start like that. Like, oh, you know this story, but let's take you back again. I feel like that's the only way I could make sense of this. Otherwise, I just don't know. But all right, moving on in the trailer for now. Some already seen footage later, we get to the scene with the little lion cub. Yeah, there's a scene in the show in act one with a little lion cub. And it took me a couple of watches of this trailer for me to really grasp the holy crap aspect of this shot in particular. Yeah, this is Elphaba riding her bike with a little lion cub in the basket behind her. This is totally mirroring Toto in the basket in the 1939 Wizard of Oz movie. Yeah, once I noticed that, I was like, holy crap. So there is a reason for that, right? That's totally gonna mean something because the way this trailer is put together, if you know what you're looking and listening for, it really is hinting that it's gonna tie in with the original Wizard of Oz movie, like specifically. Starting but not ending with the fact that she put the lion cub in the basket. Okay, didn't see that coming. I love it to death. It surprised me, holy God. And that's not even the best part. I'll get to it in a minute. Fierro's British. <laughs> He's British. Why is it you're always causing some sort of commotion? Wasn't expecting that either. I mean, I knew that Jonathan Bailey is English, but I was expecting him to use an American accent like Cynthia Erivo is. And yeah, I'll be honest, I wasn't initially sure what to think of the fact that Firo is gonna be English. But then I talked with my brother and his girlfriend about it. They both live in New York. They're both huge about Wicked. And my brother's girlfriend raised a good point. She was like, Firo was supposed to be a heartthrob in every sense of the word. He's supposed to be everything a woman would want. So him having an English accent makes sense. I was like, yeah, okay, that's a good point. And I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you, my brother's girlfriend is actually currently a swing in the cast of Wicked on Broadway. Holy crap, as if our love for this show wasn't deep enough. Super proud of her, she's kicking ass. Love you, Claire. And I love you too, bro. Getting back to this trailer, we do get one close-up shot of sweet little Nessa Rosethrop. Yes, that's Elphaba's younger sister, played here by Marissa Bodie, who is actually disabled in real life, as the character is. They released that little 30-second featurette on her not too long ago, and she was talking about representation for disabled people, and I couldn't help but be like, Good for her. I love the character of Nessa Rose. Her story arc in the show, if you ask me, is kind of underrated. You know, comparatively to Elphaba's and Glinda's. Nessa ends up being a pretty important character. I'm just saying she shouldn't be slept on. Keep your eyes on her. I loved seeing the moment where Elphaba gets her cloak because I love that moment in the show. In the music during this scene, there's a timpani cue that happens right there. It's just Mwah. I love that. It's so epic. And I hope something at least similar happens here in the movie. Because, I mean, come on. The cloak is such an iconic part of the Wicked Witch's look. So the moment she gets it has got to be epic. I mean, let's face it. This whole movie's going to be epic. Who are we kidding? And hearing Cynthia Erivo singing Defying Gravity in this trailer... That reminds me that we're most likely hearing the soundtrack versions of these songs in these trailers. The versions of the songs that will be on the soundtrack release. In the movie itself though, the singing is in fact going to be live, which I love. Yeah, it's just gonna feel more real, more authentic. Thank you John M. Chu for making that decision as you did with In the Heights. It worked then, I'm damn sure it'll work now. Woo! Do you get a good look at the Grimmery in this trailer? That is the Grimmery, the Book of Magic Spells. And before any of you are like, um, actually it's pronounced Grimoire. No, in the show they call it the Grimmery, so that's what it's called here. But yeah, look at that thing. That is not what I was expecting from the Grimmery. It looks awesome. The pages are all coming to life. You see the wings coming out on that top page? That's important. Elphaba's reading it. She's doing her incantations. And that brings the book's magic to life. Even Madame Morrible and the Wizard are like, whoa, that's really cool. And all right. 
The best part of this trailer, at least in my opinion, is in the notes. Towards the end of it, listen closely. There's a familiar theme in there. This wicked witch. That is the Wicked Witch's theme from the 1939 Wizard of Oz movie. And I had no idea it was coming. It took me by complete surprise. I was like, wow, that's so crazy. I love it so much. And the reason it did take me by such surprise is because The Wizard of Oz is a Warner Brothers movie. You'd think that theme is also patented by Warner Brothers. These Wicked movies are universal. So you would think there would be like a rights issue there. They must have gone to Warner Brothers for the rights to that music. I don't even know if that theme's gonna be in the movie, but the fact that it's even in this trailer because that theme is, of course, is not in the show at all. So hearing it in this trailer, I was like, can it please be in the movie? Because that would be awesome. Again, tying it in with the classic movie, which I honestly was not expecting it to do. I mean, yeah, it does tie in with the story of Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz, but not specifically the 1939 movie. Yeah, the witch is green, but there are things that are different. I mean, that's a whole chestnut I won't get into. The point is, I am absolutely blown away by the fact that this is seemingly going to tie in with the classic movie. Gotta love the classics. And to top it all off, I mean, come on, those shots of Elphaba riding on her broom all epic and awesome-like. <laughs> Yeah, this movie's gonna be awesome. In the end, Wicked Part 1 is, of course, still my number one most anticipated movie of the year. At this point, it's just so far and high above everything else, it's uncanny. And all right, I've given this a lot of thought. To add even more to my hype for this movie, I want to make a video about the classic 1939 Wizard of Oz movie. Thing is, though, is that I can't say anything about it in the normal video that you haven't already heard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read the original book first. And it shouldn't take too long, it's pretty short. So in this video, I'm going to compare it to its original source material, and then hopefully I'll have some information that you might not know and it'll make the video worth watching. So that's my plan. That video should come fairly soon. But until then, Wicked Part 1, official trailer 2. Have you watched it yet? What are your thoughts on this? And how excited are you for this movie? Are you as excited as I am or do you just not care at all? Any answer is great as long as it's honest. So whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And of course, thank you for subscribing. Peace!